Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of our beginner tutorial on The Last Haven. This is our second playthrough time, um, officially, like we had our first look series. We messed around a little bit once the update came out and then this is really our second playthrough and, you know, leaving off from the first episode, um, what we'll see is we have our green, our green houses, um, our sawmill, stone crusher, things of that nature. Our research is still happening. Um, so right now we are still on the ammo. We have about 26 hours left for the ammo to finish. So as I finish talking, we're going to boost this to three times speed. Um, so hopefully that way it will wrap that up. Lastly, we have one resource station down here at the bottom that's currently gathering coal. Um, once the coal is complete, we'll move on probably to metal or food, depending on how much we need. But right now we only have 27 people active because we sent two off to look for food or one of the other resources. Um, that was one of those prompts that it prompts up with. Um, and so we have 27 people and 129, now 130 food. So it should be plenty. Let's see what this is. Um, people from the near suburbs, they want to join. So these are more refugees, as I mentioned. Each time you accept new refugees, it does reduce stability by five. But we need more people. Because if you notice, our stone crusher and sawmill and stuff are hurting. So here's another five. If you notice, our stability has gone down considerably now from where it was full um, but that's fine you know we have enough time at this point so we're gonna actually fill this up I now only have one person unemployed um, I do want to I do want to build another one of those um, what are they called they are called resource stations I want to build another resource station and if I didn't mention it on the last video when you see me spinning the buildings around if you use your scroll wheel scroll wheel on the mouse um, will actually let you rotate it around. So I think I'll put it about like this. That looks to be kind of right in the middle. More polymers, there we go. More things on the ground. Also, something else, um, if you notice, has changed. Once I've gone off of the game, you know, as we ended part one, I closed it out. When we come back in, um, it's what I refer to as the fog of war, uh, if, if you're used to other RTS type games. But, you know, it has came back. So it's it's now closed off from the map. Everything we previously explored is no longer listed. So we will have to send people back out to re-explore if you want to see that full map again. Um, for now, it's not anything, you know, drastically important. Um, so I'm not too concerned with it. Now, also, because of how we just had those new settlers come in, right, the refugees, it did reset us back to normal time. So I'm going to boost that again to three times. You'll see everything moves a little bit faster. People move faster. Um, we want to, let's reduce the sawmill by one so that we can boost this um, building up here, the construction. There's a lot of stuff in this vicinity. So hopefully it will, it will definitely help. There's food back here. Actually, there's two, look at that, two of them. Okay, the ammo is complete. So we can either build weapons, uh, which is pistols and SMGs, or um, we could do one of these others. We could go build like food and combat training. Also, we will need houses. It's not that far along yet. Let's do let's do medicine, honestly. Medicine in case in case we get raided coming soon. Um, I'm also gonna move us back to three times speed. In case we get raided and get hurt, I want to be able to have a hospital to heal our people. I think that will actually come sooner than the need for housing because that's when it'll get cold. So we still have a little bit of time for housing. So we'll go straight to hospital, then maybe housing, back over to weapons or something of that nature. Hopefully. Um, we are, let's see, we have food, metal, wood, polymer, or electronics. We don't have any electronics, but I don't even know what the electronics are needed for yet. I would assume it's like down in here, you know, like heavy duty weapons and things of that nature. Um, maybe like the propaganda center. I'm sure that has like a radio or something in there. Um, let's do, who should we pull somebody from? We still need stone. Oh, we can build our factory now. We do have enough to build the factory. So let's do that right here, dead center. But again, we need people for that as well. So I feel like we have enough foods. Okay. We're going to drop this by two again. We're going to send these over to here. The resource station is full or it's completely built now. So we should be fine there. Our people returned from the assignment. Not everyone managed to escape a pack of wild dogs. So it looks like the people we sent off, we lost at least one. One person is returning, but with nothing. So that's not too useful. 
but we'll take that person and put them back on the construction here and boost back to three times speed. The whole goal here is we're trying to really boost through to show kind of what's coming up next. So hopefully it will move somewhat quickly. We do have four people down in here that's still on the coal, so that's good. I'm just looking for some resources. Nothing to select there. Let's come back into here. Nothing new. The rain has ended, which is good. If you notice, the radiation levels are still pretty high. Hopefully they will drop back down. We can send out for more resource or build another resource center soon. But right now we don't even have like enough people, you know, to to go for it if we built another one because we haven't even filled up this one. This one can house four people. Um, we only have enough for two right now. So I, I don't really feel like we're in that much of a rush. We don't really need food right now. We don't really, I mean, polymers are actually lower than metal. Um, but I believe metal's used in more things right now. So we'll stay on that. Stone did go back down. Because we built that, we have five hours left. Or that will be done soon. And we have built really everything else we can for now. Instead of shacks, I don't need... We don't really need shacks, I don't believe. I might build one. How much space does it take? We could build one right here just to be safe. Oh, there's more stuff up here. Let's go back and visit that house too. Okay, the research is complete. Um, let's go ahead and build the hospital. That takes 72 hours, so we'll do the hospital instead of the weapons. Gonna boost time as well. We'll check back in once this gets completed. Well, it's not finished yet, but we did get another pop-up, so I wanted to hop back in. We are accepting some more refugees because we do need the people. Um, and also, if you notice, our factory has completed as well. So when you first build the factory, if you notice, we did, we researched factory one and we researched the ammo pistol or pistol ammo. I don't know why it's listed that way. Um, so we can craft the most basic pistols and ammo for it currently. So if you go into the factory, what you'll notice is you have to select what it is you're wanting to build, and then it will actually go through the building phase here. Now, we do have a lot of ammo, though, because we really haven't had to fight anything yet. So if I go here to warehouse, if you notice, I have 20 or 2100, 2176 pistol ammo. So there's really not a whole lot I need to be crafting yet. Um, the others we can't do. We have 20 pistols. So honestly, even though it's built, what I'm actually going to do is choose turn off heating. What this will do is it will actually kind of deactivate the factory for the time being so that way we're not using any coal because we don't want to be burning through stuff that's not needed currently. So I'm going to leave two people kind of sitting there and we're turning it off right now. Um, one of the residents is clearly very upset about something. More than likely he's upset that I shut his factory down. It's okay though. He will still have a job. Um, we're out of people to assign. So really to be full right now, what do we need? We need... Uh, that is full, so we need one, two, three, four, five, and we would be full. But I do think once this little shack finishes up, um, we can put those people back to other use because they shouldn't have to stay at the shack. Let's just look for any new goods. Nothing really to be selected. And we're still on three times speed, so if we go back to research, we now are at 39 hours. So it originally started at 72, so we're getting there. We're basically halfway done. Down to 36. <clears throat> and once the hospital finishes, we'll probably build a hospital over in this area because this is where I want to build a few houses. And then after the hospital, we probably actually will go to housing. Either that or weapons. I'm not real sure yet. Um, depending on what the temperature sits at, that's what we'll jump into next. More than likely weapons so we can get um, better weapons to fight with. Noticing, though... Um, from the first time we played to this, if you remember at the beginning, back on episode one, we actually set it to where we started with higher rations, basically more soldiers, um, more resources, things of that nature, and the lower amount of zombies, marauders, and enemy armies. Um, we actually haven't came across anybody yet, unless this is our first, which it is. Funny timing. Um, here's our first flock of zombies. So all that time, we actually hadn't gone up against anybody, so that's one of the reasons why... I feel like we still have as much ammo and stuff that we've had. 
So what I'm going to do is position my soldiers to come a little bit closer. I believe that's a zombie here. So once they get in range, they should start to shoot. Yep, there we go. So we've taken the first one out. We're going to kind of position up here on the road. I see more coming in that range. Yep, there's even more down to here. It is a little dark for me as well. I know it's getting night out. So it's probably dark on the screen also. But we'll finish those off. I don't see any more below kind of this area. That seems to be the lowest. And the highest may be right in here. So we'll kind of leave these guys hanging out. Hopefully they'll finish them all off. And if you notice, if we go back to our warehouse, we can monitor kind of the amount of ammo and stuff we have. So there was a couple rifle and um, SMGs that we had, like these MAC-10s, you know. Um, so they're actually shooting through some of that. Now that is why we want to also go ahead and research into um, some of the higher tier stuff is because until we go up to here, like we can't do the larger ammunition and stuff um, like right down here. We can't do that through factory two to get our ammo and rifle, um, our, excuse me, our SMG and rifle ammunition. Um, so we would be limited only to pistols once we shoot through kind of the supply that we have. So we're gonna go back to three times speed, watch them take out these zombies real quick. Makes everything kind of look like fully automatic, regardless. One guy did level up. If you see, he has the two bars over his head. I believe it's Corporal, right? Yep. All recruits receive the rank of Corporal for that at two and then Sergeant at three. We're down to eight hours, so we're almost done with the hospital. You know, that's another thing though, honestly. Let's go housing next. Because of what I just said with the ammo, if we craft SMGs, um, if we're able to craft more SMGs, we won't be able to craft ammo for a minute. So we're limited only to 900 rounds. Um, so honestly, we have a bunch of pistol ammo and we can craft pistol ammo. So we'll do the houses before we actually level up our, our weapons again. I think that makes a little more sense. Again, we do have two more people that are unused because that shack did finish. So I'll boost sawmill again and we'll boost this other greenhouse. Let's go ahead and make food while the making's good, you know. More ammo. Awesome. Hospital is complete. So we're going to go ahead and build that. But first, we want to research our next item. One of the residents spoke about an abandoned fuel truck. Um, I'm going to ignore it. I don't want the fuel right now. We have a good amount, and I don't want to send off any more people because they might get stuck. So we're going to research the house here, 72 more hours. We're going to boost to three times speed, and let's go ahead and build the hospital. Um, hospital might could go here. Yeah, because we could probably fit two in. So let's build our first one here, and then our second one will kind of come farther over. We have 200 wood, so I'm going to actually take two people away from that for the time being and send them here to construct our hospital, just in case. And once that hospital's finished, that's hopefully by that time is when we will be able to move forward on building a house. We have another 64 hours here. Okay, the hospital is now complete, and there's something coming in. Another flock of zombies, our second flock of zombies. So let's grab our soldiers. We're going to move them over here to this area, which I think is close to where the zombies were coming in. Also, it just dinged that our research is complete on the house. Um, so we have our ammo here. The house is done. The hospital is complete. We're actually going to go ahead and move here on the food so that we can get ready to do our greenhouse too. Um, because as this is going to drop closer and closer to zero, we need to be switching over to greenhouses too, which will work uh, for the below 30, I think down to 30 degrees. Also, since that's done, we're going to go ahead and build our first house. Let's see where to let us place it here will work. Um, we have one person there. I'm actually going to pull out these folks from the factory and put them here on this construction just to make it go a little bit faster. And then let's go look at our soldiers. Here come the zombies. I see at least one. Okay, there they come. There's a few more. So yeah, we're going to leave these soldiers here to fight that out. I'm also going to go ahead and boost time. We might as well make it go a little bit faster. Got a few coming in. It makes our auto rifles seem very auto. Super high rate of speed. I do see it looks like that you can select. Um, yeah, so it looks like you can select your gun. If you click on the actual weapon. Uh, for example, they're down to 27 rounds. 10. 10. 
so it does look like you can actually change your weapon by selecting the soldier you can choose what weapon they actually have which is pretty interesting oh and when you when you click the gun it looks like it sends him to the warehouse I wonder if he comes back nope but he does have the Mac 10 now awesome Okay, so we've survived our second zombie horde, and that house is complete also. Let's go ahead and build... Do we have the funds? Let's build a second house. Because these only hold, what, 10 people? Let's go look. These houses provide housing for 10 folks, and we are currently sitting at an additional 24 that need housing. Um, so this would be one, two... So we actually need this one... And really two more, or at least one more in another shack for the time being. More refugees. We're going to go ahead and take these folks. Now, that's really good. We have five people. Um, should we build another one? What does this take? Ten metal, ten wood, and ten polymers. I'm actually going to go ahead and build another greenhouse one for the time being. Um, even though we're going to have to transition it to a greenhouse two very soon, I feel like we need the food. Um, and also, what is a resource station? Twenty and ten. Let's go ahead and build another resource station here as well. So that should take care of most of the folks that need it. We'll boost construction. Um, the only thing the only thing we might be limited on is building a third house. This will take 60, 10, 5, and 30. So we will actually have enough. That's awesome. We'll build a third house here in a moment, which will help reduce the amount. Because we're, we're going to need even more and we're running out of, uh, out of materials. So... Hopefully that's why these resource stations will really boost. This one is on metal, which is good. Um, is our person down here still on coal? Coal's gone, so let's put them on metal as well. So that's going to be interesting as well. We're going to have to find a new place of coal. This actually might have some. Once this construction finishes up, we'll see. So again, boosting it to three times the speed because it really does feel like in this game you spend a lot of time just waiting, right? A lot of stuff's waiting on something else to happen. Um, one of the residents asked to go search for his dog. We need the stability back. So sending that one person off, getting five stability, is actually offsetting a full another set of um, survivors coming in. So we'll let that person go, give him a little bit of food. But now we just need to find, okay, he was here at the greenhouse. So let's boost that back up. These things are going. Again, putting it back to three times speed because anytime those little cutscenes pop up, it does take away from that. Also, building. Let's try and build a third house. Why won't it let us put it that way? Maybe here? Cool. We're kind of making our own little housing section over here. Do we not have anybody available? Oh, because they all went into the resource station. So there is fuel and coal. Um, artificial food's done. Let's actually... What do we need most? We actually need stone pretty heavily. Um, coal will be coming up, honestly, because we need coal for that. I'm going to, let's take this down to two, take this one down to two. And then let's go ahead and construct this house. Did I lose another person? Maybe not. Come on, more survivors. We need it. Oh, our first marauders. Okay. So the way marauders work is these are armed people. Uh, marauders wandered into our village. We can give them food and they will leave. These do have guns and they will attack. Um, for 50 food or we attack them back. Honestly, I don't want to go through my ammo stuff yet. So I'm actually going to say buy off with food. It's going to take 50 of our food storage, but that's fine. We have enough for now. It's still pretty early on. And I would rather have our people over here. So we're going to go ahead and research greenhouse too. So that once this completes, what we'll be able to do is actually be transitioning these greenhouses one into greenhouse two. Also, look here. A house two provides housing for 20 folks. That's going to be cool. Put it back to three times speed because, again, another cutscene. We do have this little shack, so we need to remember that. That's providing housing for five folks, and it's going to cut out at... Uh, zero degrees. So once it gets a little bit colder, we're going to run out. Let's check on our ammo. We still have a good amount. We do have some more weapons. What's this? More zombies. Yeah, see, so 
it actually is good. We weren't fighting those marauders because these zombies are going to be coming in pretty quick. So let's go ahead and bring our soldiers on out, maybe to this clearing area, depending on how fast they move in. Oh, that one's actually like running. I just don't want them to get hurt. But we do have a hospital now, so if they do get attacked, we should survive. Um, I just haven't, like, we haven't actually researched any of this stuff to be able to make more soldiers. So after the greenhouse too, we'll actually focus on creating more soldiers probably next because we have our hospital now, we have our housing, we'll have our greenhouses. Um, so really the next thing will be soldiers and or weapons. So there goes another guy kind of up higher. So we'll send these up a little more. Okay. They're a little spread out. So we'll leave them here. There's some more guys coming in actually. Yeah, maybe they'll come to us. That guy's pretty high though. So maybe if we move them here, they'll capture them. Because that guy's up higher than I thought. Okay. Yeah, so we're in range now. We'll be able to take the rest of these guys out. We'll leave them there to fight. Let's check on our other stuff while we're at it. Our third house is built. Uh, we have three people unemployed, and we still need another one. So we're going to go ahead and plop down a fourth house right here. Reloading. We're going to construct that. That should provide housing for everybody. So if you notice down here, we still have eight people homeless. These houses provide housing for ten folks. Um, so hopefully this will knock that out. Let's finish off these zombies. We got it, what, two left, three left? All right. Come on now. Last guy, I believe. We did get another. Look, we have two more people promoted. That's awesome. So they will be better fighters. Okay, I believe that's it. So let's bring our soldiers back. We'll put them here near the hospital. Um, our greenhouses, we could actually have a few extra folks. We got that on coal, which is good. This one, what are we doing? Metal, okay. Down here, we are on metal as well. So that's good, because we don't really need the food right now. Let's finish up this construction. We're gonna go to three times the speed. We are still researching greenhouse two, 48 hours remaining. Once this finishes up, we should be able to wrap it up. More wood. We're going to grab that. Anything else that we can see to capture right now? Or to, There we go. Ammo. I just saw it. Oh, perfect. 57 ammo. That's big. That'll help us fight off more zombies for sure. One resident spoke, polymers. We're gonna actually send two people for that. Okay, the house is finished. So we are now at day 14. Um, we're still at positive nine degrees Celsius. So we have a little bit of time before we need to have our other greenhouses finished, which is good. We're getting close, um, but that I feel like this is a good stopping point for our second episode in this beginner tutorial series. Um, we fought off two hordes of zombies now. We paid off the marauders, so that was our first look into those as well. Um, we have our factory up. We aren't running it right now because we don't really need it yet. Uh, we still have some ammo. We were able to build four houses. We built a hospital, um, a, another greenhouse, and another resource station. So we've expanded quite a bit. I am excited to see what happens on the next episode. Hopefully we will be able to take it farther into actually better weapons and start being able to build a barracks and build more soldiers. We'll see how far we get there. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button so that way you will see when the new videos go live and be able to catch all of our new content. And as always guys, thanks so much for hanging around and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.